here at the local drugstore on a very bright and sunny day. Let's see if I can get an example here of how Comparative Advantage works. Okay, so they didn't want me filming in the store. I'm going to try to give you an illustration of how Comparative Advantage works right here. So give me a second while I turn this around and we get to the numbers. All right, let's assume we've got two employees at the store. Aaron and Tony both actually helped me out. Those are the first names of the people who helped me out today. And they're pretty nice. So let's just use their names for this example. Let's say that Aaron can fill a prescription in three minutes. The time it takes you to get a prescription or script done is three minutes. Uh, at the same time, Aaron can process one set of photos in one minute. That is my bad handwriting there for the word minute, or the abbreviation on minute, but for her to do a set of photos, it's one minute. In contrast, Tony, to get a prescription done, it takes her four minutes, and for her to process a set of photos, it takes two minutes. So right away in looking at these, we know who has absolute advantage. Erin is faster with prescriptions, she's got absolute advantage there. She's faster also with the photos, so she's got absolute advantage there. And these problems are a little different because we're talking about the amount of time. So let's see if I can pan over here, see if I can do this right. Let's see, for Erin, we said if she does a prescription, it's going to cost her three minutes. I think it's really important to list this three minutes. That three minutes listed on there, that's really useful. Because if I come over a little bit farther on this other legal pad, for her, three minutes is going to equal three photos. Since it took her one minute to prepare a set of photos. So if I use that kind of like a linkage almost, let's see if I can do, do this right. There, one prescription over here equals three minutes, and three minutes equals three photos. So for her, the opportunity cost of one prescription is three photos. So what they let me take were some of the envelopes. One prescription is three photos. That's for Aaron. And let me try to set it up also for Tony. Give me one second. Okay, now let's talk about Tony. Back over to our original sheet here, Tony could do a prescription in four minutes, and she could also process a set of photos in two minutes. So if I slide on over here, for Tony, one prescription, that cost her four minutes. So again, the, cre the key part of the suggestion I would make is keep this four minutes listed in here. That four minutes, that's useful. If we come over a little bit farther, the four minutes equals two photos. Because if the photos, coming back around, if the photos only took her two minutes, then that four minutes, the four minutes that's common on both those sheets, that four minutes implies that the opportunity cost for Tony is going to be one prescription. That takes her four minutes. One prescription, the opportunity cost is two photos. So for her, that's the opportunity cost we have. Now let's see how it's comparative advantage. Okay, so here's a Okay, so for comparative advantage, Aaron, if she helps get one prescription ready, that's going to mean three photos she can't do. That's an opportunity cost or a loss, which is why I wrote loss on there. Tony, if she gets one prescription ready, she only loses two photos. So, since she loses less, she actually has the comparative advantage in filling prescriptions. Because when she did the prescription, she lost less, she's got the comparative advantage in the prescriptions. Aaron still has absolute advantage in both tasks, but Tony's going to have the comparative advantage in prescriptions, which means that Aaron automatically is going to have it in photos. And that's the method you could use for these problems where you're given times. When you're given one task, like one photo in a certain time, or one prescription a certain time, you want to try to equate the time to the other tasks. So by that I mean Aaron, one prescription means three photos. For Tony, one prescription only meant two photos. Since she lost less there with one prescription, she's actually got the comparative advantage in prescriptions.